So, got my computer all put together. We're going to watch how that all went. Taylor's very excited for why this is happening afterwards. I am so thrilled. You can tell. I forgot I didn't record most of the audio at the beginning. But little Lancelot here is adorable, isn't he? He makes everything better. Uh, before we get to that, guys, don't forget to like the video. If you like the video, and subscribe to the channel. Also, link down below for the merch store. Get the merch. Hello. That's Taylor. She's recording the video. They'll be fine. No. Taylor, not happy. <laughs> I accidentally didn't record like half of that audio. Um, I have that incorrectly. Perfect. These are the stock AMD brackets. I don't think anybody really needs them anymore. God, I hope I didn't do anything just there. But cry. You'll see actual tears from a grown man. Normally when you're putting in a motherboard, you're not gonna put it in standing up. However, much like Linus Tech Tips, I am going to follow in his footsteps and I'm going to go in there. Actually, do I need that? I don't know. Is that for Intel or is that for AMD? That is for LGA, so that's Intel. I need AMD bracket. Cool, there you are. Okay, and totally could not break anything right now, right? No, you could, that's okay. Nice thing about these motherboards and the cases, they can stand, but please install everything. That's stronger than it needs to be. I appreciate it though. What is it? Um, so it's a GPU sag bracket. I cannot tell if I am hitting. Um, so a GPU sag bracket is to help with GPU sag, which is this. So GPU is supposed to be all completely flat. GPU sag is because of the weight. It tips a little bit, so it can break this a little bit. Uh, we're gonna have a, I'm gonna have a fuller video on this later. Get subscribed. Um, it's a problem. It can break either the motherboard or this. So companies have been making GPU sag brackets. I bought this one because it has RGB and it works with my motherboard. Otherwise, Fantex with this case gives you a GPU bracket for free with the case. I say for free limitedly because this is like a $100, $200 case. <laughs> I mean, I don't really have to put all the screws in. It'll make it easier when I have to rebuild something or fix something. And with this being a $500 motherboard going in a $200 case, with what should have been a $600 graphics card, a $500 C... Oh, actually, that was 300. Um, <laughs> 300 CPU. You're starting to see the numbers here and it's starting to get me rattling. How far can I make it with the gamers pay? Plenty. Figured he's, it out. He's stupid. I forgot the screws weren't long enough because you need a standoff. to put into the back plate, which also stops it from going falling out every five minutes. Okay, we're gonna do the rest of this build and then you'll see the outro. Bye. One eternity later. Okay, so this is gonna take a little bit. Um, I got it all together, uh, had a bit of fun. <laughs> um, I had a small problem, uh, I was, accidentally disconnected the SATA cable for the cooler so it wasn't cooling, I was overheating, so this video is probably a little late. If, if it is, I'll leave this in here as an apology. Um, I did also change a bit around, uh, just needed some more room. <laughs> um, overall, this is doing great. I'm gonna get some benchmarks going. I'm gonna show you guys the results of the benchmarks. You might enjoy that. I'm not sure. Uh, it's 
for a later video also uh those benchmarks all in all it is running beautifully i cannot wait to try and game on this more i've played a couple of games but i haven't played really intense games i did fortnite and um i think what else did i do uh, not really anything else i just did a virtual machine because i wanted to i have a game i need the virtual machine part of the of the bios activated for um this is gonna take me a little bit to get used to uh there's going to be a later video with a um a tour of my studio we're gonna call it it's more really my bedroom so bear with me i'm gonna take a minute for that <laughs> I got to get this a little more put together. I do have the test bench here now. Uh, it's not exactly how I want it, but that's mostly because this isn't how I want this yet. Um, it needs to be a little more in screen. So what I'm going to do, that is how I want this to be now. I want you guys to see me and I want you guys to see my computer that I have built entirely for having YouTube content created and made. I haven't completely decided where I want my mic right now. It's kind of in a bad position. Um, however, I think I look good like this. Not going to lie. Look pretty good. But this is my complete Asus build. The only thing that's not Asus in this is going to be the power supply and the fans. But the fans are all controllable through the Asus programming, which is awesome. Um, I need to show you guys something really quick. I kind of like it. All right, so this is Armory Crate. This is how you control 90% of everything in Asus. This currently is the dashboard. Um, you can see the motherboard I'm using, the CPU, how much RAM and what speed, and the BIOS version. I haven't updated the BIOS yet because I haven't figured out entirely how yet with this because I did download the new BIOS, but when I go to the tools, I wait for it to load because it takes a minute. I go to BIOS, it says there's no new BIOS up available. So I know that's not right because I downloaded a BIOS version. What does it say? Did I delete it? I must have deleted it. I saw a BIOS version 4004, so I know that's not right. One of the nice things though, um, they have all the manuals right here in case you misplace them or anything like that. They have individual kits, which are for if you need to do something specific with your motherboard. It also has utilities. Um, this is mostly like um, bloatware that you don't really need. I need the AI suite just because it's controlling the cooler i have i like the cpu z because that way i have it there um the ram cache tells me how my ram is doing and if i need to do anything i don't need the noise cancellation i don't need winrar over wolf game first or daemon or bull guard i don't need any of that that's just too much load on my computer i'd rather it be mostly focused on things that are important um <laughs> I say that as I have a corner of things that has two, three things I need to get rid of. So guys, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like the video if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, um, I'm sorry the video is a little different than usual. I hope to have more videos like this in the future with more bi build guides. Um, testing certain parts with other parts i i think i did a pretty good job here for you guys in showing off the more beautiful side of computer building uh thank you guys for tuning in have a good day i've been thinking about putting a bunch of stickers all over this on the this side i don't i don't mean like horrible horrible stickers i i mean tasteful stickers Asus with the Chakram mouse sent me this metal sticker. I don't know where to put it.